So how can you as a Christian get the Holy Spirit back into your life? Well, first of all, the Holy Spirit never left. Jesus said, I will send the Holy Spirit and he will never leave you. Now, let me make this clear. This is not a license to sin. This does not mean that you can go on living however you want to live. Rather, this means that the Holy Spirit abides with you to help you get this right. The Holy Spirit, Ephesians 4.30 teaches us, grieves. So when you make a mistake, the Holy Spirit doesn't leave, he grieves. And that intense conviction produces results in your life. And as a true believer, you're going to respond to that conviction. So it's not a matter of you getting the Holy Spirit back. It's a matter of you surrendering to the Holy Spirit again. It's not a matter of you getting more of the Holy Spirit, but of the Holy Spirit getting more of you. It's about surrender. Surrender to the Holy Spirit who faithfully abides within you.